Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a comparison between these two Shark vacuum cleaners. Here I have the blue one, this is the Shark Navigator Liftaway Deluxe. And this red one or maroon one is the Shark Rocket Deluxe Pro. So I've got a really big mess here on the floor. Let's see how they do. Kick it over center, we're going to turn this one on. Both of them are very powerful. But the rocket is much easier to move, much easier to maneuver, glides on the carpet better, but they're both picking up exactly the same. So the Shark Rocket Vacuum Cleaner, it just fits in your hand very well. It's very lightweight and very powerful. This one has a larger storage area for picking up dirt and debris. So let's empty them and see how they did. Okay, so the rocket vacuum is very simple to empty. You take it over to the trash can. It's got a release button here on the front. You're going to press that. The trap door is going to come down and everything comes out. Do have a little bit of hair that wrapped around that up there. But it picked up a lot. Okay, now let's do the lift away. It's got these latches on the sides. You're going to take it over to the trash can. Again, another release button. You're simply going to press that. The trap door is going to come out. And again, there it is. We got a little bit of hair left up in there too, but both of them do a really good job. This one's, this one's just gonna hold a lot more. Okay, so the Shark Rocket Vacuum Cleaner, I love it has a foot release. So now if I need to grab something in the crevice or something up high, this is very simple to operate. When I'm ready, I simply just push it back in there and I'm ready to go. I can even release it up here Put some attachments on and clean something. Again, super lightweight. Put it back on. Okay, so now with the lift away, I can remove the handle. I can go clean some area. I can even remove the wand down here. Put an attachment on and clean something or clean up high. But I can also take away the whole power assembly. So hit this red button and now this whole thing goes with me. I can take it where I need release the handle, do some cleaning, put it back on, and it does go on very, very simple. Okay, so let's try it on hardwood floors. I've got some hair, some cereal, kind of a big mess. Now the lift away, it's got a center position and it doesn't turn the roller on, the brush. Now the rocket, it's got a position for hardwood floors. The roller still turns, it turns at a lower speed, so it's not knocking everything which way. So we'll use both the bare floor on both of them. I like that the rocket, the brush spins. I think that does help. But they both glide real easy. The lift away is doing a good job. Yeah, even though the lift away, the, the brush is not turning, it actually did a really good job. So both of these vacuum cleaners have filters. You've got to clean once in a while. So the rocket's very easy. You can take this canister off. You can take this canister apart and get it all nice and clean. Release it up here. You can take this, rinse it all out. On top, there is a filter. Now you do have to change or clean this filter once in a while. It's a foam filter. And what you're going to do is you're going to rinse it out in some soap and water. And then you have to let it dry before you put it back in. Over here on the lift away, there's also some filters. You can take this, this canister all apart, get it nice and clean. Now the lift away does have a HEPA filter. So we do have this HEPA filter. You are gonna have to change this once in a while, but it does a really good job of preventing the dust from getting in the air. But you also have these other filters that you have to clean once in a while. So this filter here, you're gonna take this, rinse this out, let it air dry and put it back. So here's what the bottom of them looks like. Now you will have to kind of cut the hair off once in a while on both of these. The rocket does have better edge cleaning on this one side. You can see how it's really close to the edge where you've got kind of the same distance here almost on the lift away. So here I've got the vacuum cleaners, the cords wrapped up. This is how they store. So you can see the rocket vacuum takes up a lot less room. Okay, so the blue one, the Navigator, the bigger one, it retails for $169 all the way up to $219. The Rocket Vacuum, it retails 
you know, the price is on anywhere from around $160. I did buy both of these used. And when I bought the Rocket Vacuum, the, the red one used, I got it for about $140 off of Amazon. I will put links to these in the show description notes. So underneath the video, if you click on the link, the product won't cost you anymore, but I will get a commission from the sale. It is a way of supporting my channel. I bought both of these with my own money and I was not paid for this video. So if you need the HEPA filtration, you're definitely going to want the, the lift away with the nice HEPA filter. But boy, that the, um, the rocket vacuum is hard to beat. We did some testing upstairs. With, we had a bunch of carpet upstairs. We vacuumed a room with the rocket and then the lift away. Now the lift away did have some stuff in it, even though the rocket didn't pick it up. But then we swapped it. We vacuumed with the uh, lift away first and then went back over with the shark and the shark picked up some stuff. So as far as suction wise, I think they're pretty close to being the same. And I do think the ease and portability of disconnecting it, using the wand with your foot, it's just very, very portable. And I do think it does a really good job on hardwood floors. Underneath the video, if you could give it a thumbs up, that really helps out my YouTube channel. Hit the subscribe button and thanks so much for watching.